Hey guys. Welcome to couple. Please like and subscribe if you like this video. Last week Carlos Garcia and Efren Oliveras stood apart from the crowd at a rally here in this border town located at the southernmost tip of Texas. A large crowd of 1,500 protesters chanted the people united, will never be divided, and waved signs that read, this is not a border crisis. It is a moral crisis. Everyone had gathered to protest the Trump administration's family separation policy. As they talked in a mix of Spanish and English, Garcia, an immigration lawyer, said he had clients to visit at a detention center later that day. Oliveras, the Racial Economic Justice Program Director at the Texas Civil Rights Project TCRP, asked Garcia to visit a woman from Honduras, who had told one of his colleagues that she would kill herself if she wasn't reunited with her five-year-old daughter. Let me put her on there, and I'm going to take someone else off, said Garcia, sending his legal assistant a Google chat message to update the list of 15 migrants he was scheduled to see later that afternoon. Rather than spend his day working on cases from his private immigration practice, Garcia, like so many other lawyers, is helping migrants who have been separated from their children by immigration authorities in addition to his day job. But there aren't enough Spanish-speaking lawyers who can stay long enough to take on asylum cases, which usually take around six to eight weeks to process. People see the crisis happening, and they want to do something right now, which is great. But when we explain that this is a long-term fight, and we need your long-term commitment. That's when people sort of back off Dutson and Jamie's Perez, the communications director at the TCRP. The border area, where the majority of separated parents are being detained in the Port Isabel Detention Center, desperately needs more lawyers like Garcia to help with the work. We have a ton of lawyers saying we can come to the valley for two weeks and volunteer, and it's not very helpful, Oliveras said. We need a commitment to take on the case all the way for months. Legal representation is vital for detained migrants, those with attorneys are twice as likely to get asylum or another form of immigration relief as those without, yet only 14% of detainees have lawyers, according to research from the American Immigration Council.